I look around, you know what I see? Losers. But life's giving us a chance. Marvel's latest movie, I think it's a great triumph for Marvel. In fact, you take Iron Man, you take Captain America, you take the Avengers, you can take them all. I actually like Guardians of the Galaxy better than all of them, and why? Because it's got a real sense of humor. This movie is really fun. It's kind of like Indiana Jones meets Marvel meets all these different genres. And it's got a great lead in Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is a superstar waiting to happen. I have a plan. You've got a plan. I have part of a plan. This movie's already got a sequel set up for three years down the line. They knew it would be a success. It's opened huge around the world. And why not? This one has revitalized my faith in the Marvel Universe, such as it were. This is a ragtag group led by the adventurer Peter Quill. He's uh, the Star-Lord, that's what he calls himself. Who? The Star-Lord, man, legendary outlaw. And he puts together this, this group of uh, characters that are really quite unforgettable. There's Rocket, he's a raccoon, voiced by Bradley Cooper. Keep calling me Vermin, tough guy! You just wanna laugh at me like everyone else! A gun-toting, very opinionated raccoon. <laughs> it's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Totally fake. That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life, because that is not a plan. There's also Groot, who's a tree. He's voiced by Vin Diesel. I'm Groot. I am. And then there are the in-person uh, characters. One played by Zoe Saldana. She's really a dangerous beauty and really an interesting character as well. And then there is Drax the Destroyer played by WWE's Dave Bautista. And he really is a guy you don't want to cross. And he's very good in this movie too. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago. No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something else. Uh. Anyway, this group comes together and they fight evil in the world in the form of uh, this really bad guy uh, who is out to get the orb. That's an object that could impose uh, a lot of bad stuff on mankind. Well, it's in the hands of Peter Quill and he will not let it get out of his possession. And so that's what this movie's about, trying to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. Now, I thought some of the scenes with the villains in this were a little over the top. How do you know about this? I don't even know what that is. I'm just just a junker, man. I was just, just check us okay. out. But every time they get off of that and they get onto this group, it's a real character-driven, fun adventure movie. Definitely one for the whole family and one that everybody seems to be taking to heart. I think we're gonna see a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy, which I had never really heard of. It's an obscure Marvel comic book that's really been turned into a first-rate motion picture entertainment. I definitely say go.